Here we have two different loops that iterate over the exact same underlying data, process it in the exact same way, and have a similar runtime. What might be easy to miss here is the size of each iterator and memory. If we keep on raising it though, let's say to 250,000, we run out of memory and a memory error is raised. We only actually need enough memory to store a 5 character string. Next iteration, we only need enough memory to store a 6 character string. We know that when a function is called, everything runs within its own scope. Whenever we hit a return statement, the function terminates, all function scoped variables are destroyed, and the resulting value is returned to the caller. It turns out there's something we can do that prevents the local variables from being destroyed when we terminate a function. Rather than building an entire list and returning it once it has been fully populated, let's go ahead and insert a yield inside of our loop and hand back just a single string at a time. If we go ahead and use this as our data in our loop now, we will get the exact same results, however each string is generated right before it is needed.